So, Blake and Jason, we meet again. It's been more than a year since season 17 and I bet you've forgotten all about me. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't forgotten how season 17 ended. I remember those things that you said about me, Box. And it's not just me, oh no. All of Great Britain was listening. We've been waiting, waiting and watching. We watched Neon Gnome. It wasn't very good. We watched She's With Me. We didn't like it. We watched Action Family. That one was pretty good. But I'm here to tell you, the Brits are back for another season. So, here's my question. Who's the daddy now, Blake and Jason? I'll tell you. I'm the daddy now. Well, she used to be an actress. Did she ever do anything that I saw before my wife died? I think her biggest deal was she stalled in a pilot. What's a pilot? Is it kind of like cancer? Well, you know the show's on TV. I don't watch TV. I just watch my wife die a painful, slow death. Yes, but you're aware that there's an invention called television, and on that invention they show shows. Yeah. Well, the way they pick the shows on TV is they make one show and that show's called a pilot. And they show that one show to people who pick the shows and on the strength of that one show they decide if they want to make more shows. Some get accepted and become TV programs, some don't and become nothing. She started one of the ones that became nothing. He always gets real excited when that time's just right. Dum, da, dum, dum, dum. It just stopped for some reason. That's all right. <sighs> oh, boy. She used to be an actress. It's going to be that kind of night, I think. You think so? Well. We can't do a tuck on this. We got we to gotta, we gotta forge through it, not yeah, do a tuck Yeah, yeah we, we can't limp through it like we normally do. <laughs> we can't limp through it like Tuckley does. This is what his wife emailed me. Ouch. Oh. Welcome to Couch Pilots, All of My Friends. It's the show that dares to fly into the unknown territory of awful television, Pilots of the Past. My name is Jason, and with me is my late-night buddy. It's Captain Philip Ressischer. How are you, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, what is it about golf? Golf, right? Pretty stupid, right? Pretty stupid golf is. Yeah, I mean... You, you decide to pay money to go walk around a forest and hit balls. Am I right, folks? Golf is pretty dumb. By the way, I was on the golf team three out of four years at East Peoria Community High School. Hey, guys. Hey, lovers. Hey, haters. Hey, fans of the show. Glad to have you here. Jason, yeah, good to see you. You did you specifically bring a hoodie because it's chilly down here? Yeah, nice, um, nice. <laughs> you think I finally learned? Um, I thought your long hair would keep you warm, but obviously not. I got it cut off. I got it cut off about a month and a half ago. You couldn't have. That was during COVID. Oh, um, I got it as soon as it was. I was legally able to do it. Is what I meant to say. I still haven't. That's my what... my last my last haircut was pro- well. My last paid haircut okay was uh, the week before. I'll say you're looking fairly short on the sides still. Not as short as you sometimes go, but it's looking pretty short. Like it's been done within the past two weeks, three weeks. But uh, yeah, my wife uh, has she three. This show is built on the back of his back. Here. Uh, my wife has been doing a really good job on my sides and my back. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! What about your... Uh, your Chuckly that shit. What about your pussy and your crack? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, but uh, this is the longest my hair has ever been on, on top. Let's see it. Mess it up. Like, like take the front and, yeah, go straight up and then bring the front down to your face and see how far down your face it goes. Where, where is it touching? Mid-nose? 
Min- minnows. It's like it's like touch. It's touching yeah. your minnows. Yeah, but I mean, the whole thing is that length. I mean, yeah. this is yeah. this is long for me. That's long for you. Do you like it or not? Huh? Do you like that? I kind of like it. Do, hey, do you like that? Hey, I look really good. I look like a. A six guy. You always and, give me shit for like having my hair long, and you're well, like, because you have a big, humongous fucking head, and when you get long hair, it 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 doesn't fit you. So what what sh- how, how should my hair be then, Weisenheimer? I think you should go a uh, a one on the sides, one on the back, mm-hmm. and about an inch off the top. Okay, so just like you, <laughs> I should look just like you. Don't you want to be just like me? I got general awards and it burns when I pee. All right, all right, all well, right. Well, IBWIP reference there. Hey, What's up? What We're show? Bringing it back. What show is that? Tell me about that show. It burns when I pee? Oh, it was a great show. It was funny. I think you can still find it on iTunes. What are you going to do um, after this show's done? What, what kind of podcast are you going to do Commit suicide. No more podcasting. No, this will be the last one. Really? This yeah. is your last podcast? Yeah, I'm going to sell all this stuff for like 45 bucks. No, you're not. Well, it's, it's Scott's. It's, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's all profit for you. But I'm you, like, making that money. So, okay, well then, what would you do with this room? Welcome back to the show, Derek. Hey, Derek. Hello. Hoovastank. I like to call him Hoovastank. Thank you for having me. Some call him Hoovy Juice. Right. Some call him Derek Ho- H. Or Hoovenator. DJH. I call him Hoover Boss. Hoover yeah. Boss. There it is. Call him the boss with the sauce. Uh, you may have heard his uh, lovely voice on the show before. Also, you may have heard him on the wonderful, successful podcast. Let's let's talk about Ernest. Let's talk about Ernest. Let's and, talk know, about Ernest before we with say, the gang. Before we say anything else, I just want to thank you, Blake, for listening to Let's Talk About Ernest um, week after week, month after month, year after year. Thank you. And my other favorite is Dissing Disney. <laughs> there, it's the it's show all where, the smack talk have you on, been on Disney. That? Have you been on Dissing Disney? I've not been on uh, Dissing Disney. Yeah, but d- man, I got some mad disses. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, w- I was on that show twice, despite Brianna not liking me. Uh, I was on it once, and I don't remember it. And I got drunk and was not invited back over. The- oh, no, no, I've been on it twice. <laughs> the first time I was so drunk-, drunk he didn't remember being on it at all. Apparently, <laughs> Wait, are sec- you talking about D- Dish and Disney? Yeah, being drunk. Yeah, because I very much remember you drunk on Ernest. Oh, maybe no. That's what it was. I was on Dish and Disney. Which one was he on? The can- he was on the one the day I buried my dad. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was the hey, one man. where, like, hey, you want to, your dad's dead. Do you want to come do a show? You're like, I need to fucking think about something else. Yeah. I can't blame you. Yeah, I was uh, in, like, Flint. But that was, uh, you were on the Christmas episode, weren't you? Did you do Christmas? Christmas, yeah. I remember being cold out and having to drive you home. Do you remember me us driving you home? Yeah. Uh, uh, All right, we got no, a lot to talk about. Let's, let's do it. Matt drove, me, dro- Matt drove me home? No, Matt followed me, you. And you drove me home. Well, first of all, you're like, where's my keys? And we're like, I don't know where your keys are. And then you look everywhere, and you start like uh, sorting through shoes and couch cushions. And we're like, uh, we don't have your keys. Like, one of you guys probably took my keys because I'm real drunk. And like, no, we didn't. And it turned out to like, be in a, a coat pocket or yeah, something. Yeah, it was in my coat pocket. And so we're like, all right. Crafty so, pockets. So you're too drunk to drive home. Sure. So yeah, I drive your vehicle. Yep. And, and Matt follows us, and it's way the fuck in South Pekin. Yeah, we come all the way up to Pekin, drop you off. Matt and I head back here, and then I jump in my car and we go home. You got? I have great friends. But I have, you, I have but great friends. Do you so remember what we did for you? Huh? You remember what we did for you when we pulled up to your house? You're like my wife could see me being dropped off, and so we like I parked two houses down and oh, let you she? drive two houses to your house. <laughs> wow, good time, Charlie. Friendship. So, yeah. But uh, Derek and I do uh, co-host, along with our friend Dustin, who's been on this show many times. That's correct. Um, we did a show. It's it's pretty much, it's kind of over. It could come back in, in, in weird forms, I suppose. But it's called The Importance of Seeing Ernest. With your eyes. And then now uh, we're doing, uh, now is where we looked at all the works of Jim Varney as the character Ernest. Right. Hence, hence the seeing. We've been through all of his stuff. And then uh, we were talking to the people who created and wrote for Ernest, and they said, here's a million things that we wanted to do with Jim that never got made. And so the new show is about all the stuff that was never made. And what's that show called? It's Well, it's called the Ernest P. World Preservation Society. Oh, and what, is, what does P stand for? Do you know? Uh, Paul. Uh, P- Power Tools. Power Tools. Ah, I did not know that. Ernest Power Tools World. Yeah, that's canon. Canon. Great and show. we're doing this show because Dustin is a psychopath. 
That's mainly it. Yeah. Mainly it. But uh, uh, Derek, you've been on, uh, I think you've been on IBWIP before. You've been on Couch Pots many a times. Uh, you, you, y'all brought me in. Did, you, was he on IBWIP? I doubt it. I bet he was I on. I was Broken you know Funny Bone. Broken Funny Bone. I think yeah. Funny Bone. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Which, is, which is basically the same thing. IBWIP light. It's, it's, it's a sweet baby. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's IBWIP sweet baby. Yeah. It was like oh. we were trying to cut the fat on IBWIP, and we, uh, we that became Broken Funny Bone. Good you, times, right? You, you went so much better than this fatty show. ribeye to a nice tasty filet mignon. It was a lot more work than this show. Uh, for me, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, I, I put in. I would say oh. about. I put about an hour and a half to two hours preparing for every episode. So probably about four hours a week. I put into four the, hours a week. Every other that, no, it's two hours a week. Four, four hour, hours every other week. Four hours preparing to do and two I, episodes. I would say that uh, uploading and editing. I've spent probably. An hour and a half a week, so we're we're, we're pretty close. It's about the same. Right. Is that your standard prep time for like all shows? Like even Ernest? Like do you dedicate that much time no. prepping? Okay, no. I was gonna no. say. No, I have a whole spreadsheet. Oh yeah, I have a whole algorithm for this program that I okay. just plug information into, and that that I'm harvesting. Because I was gonna say, if you were doing that for Ernest, like buddy, but I well, you can do so little and do really well on that show. Well, <laughs> well, you have to for Ernest. We had to watch movies, which were like an hour and a half. So that's that's prep. You, but then also. Um, like now we have to read scripts and stuff that were un- for unmade mer- un- 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 shows. Fucking reading shit. But I, I'm at a second grade reading level, so it does take me a long time. Fucking yeah. reading, writing, reading, arithmetic, reading, writing, arithmetic. <laughs> okay, nerd. Oh, yeah. What are you talking? Oh, yeah. What are you trying to do? Get an edu- okay. edu- education? Oh, oh, look at look at Brains McKenzie over here. Fucking, Brains McKenzie. I love that dog. Riding. I love that fucking, fucking dog. Shit. Yeah, he's Spud McKenzie's donkey brother who doesn't drink beer and get around with chicks with big hoots. All he does is uh, he sits around, reads. Oh, okay, Burroughs. <laughs> I'm looking at your tattoo. It's um. He doesn't even lick his own butt. I if I could, oh, if balls. I could, I would. It's uh, what's that tattoo? It's your uh, fraternity, couple. right? I got a few. The fraternity one. The fraternity one, yeah. Phi Gamma Delta. Is there a secret handshake for Phi Gamma Delta? Actually, yeah, there is. And so you, I know you can't tell us. I cannot. And I wouldn't ask. If you were to go to a, one of those, whatever you said. Phi Gamma Delta, a.k.a. Fiji. If you went to a Fiji house at some other campus and you applied the handshake, would they, by, by law, by their bylaws, allow you to sleep on their couch if you had to? Goddamn right. Yeah. My, uh, this my, is an unspoken truth. My daughter were uh, over... Actually, when we left your house the other day, mm. um, she said, hey... Can we drive by all the fraternities and sororities over by Bradley? Because I think in her head, just like, oh, this is a cool thing. Yeah, they're thinking, she's thinking Animal House. Yeah, uh, she loves Animal old House. Old school. Mm-hmm. Van Wilder. Yes. <laughs> yes, Van Wilder. Van Wilder. So we go over there, we drive up, and it's no offense. I don't know. I, I can't remember that house specifically, but ultimately, Fredonia, where everything is, fairly unimpressive. The houses don't look that cool. There's a couple cool ones. Was it, which one's yours? Does yours look like a 1970s office building? No. No, mine has pillars in front of it. Ooh, pillars. Nice. Why you gotta fucking brag on our show, man? You got it, flown it. How many year, other years uh, were you part of that fraternity? Three years. Three years. Well, for life. For well, life. I mean, like, Ooh. active But at, at college, school. I was at Bradley for uh, three years. Okay. Fair enough. Um, should we talk uh, about when Derek got drunk at the bachelor party? I was yes. waiting for this to come. Yes. Up. Okay. Because does now does he know the PS? Um, the continuing saga. No, I don't. I don't, fi- I don't. know oh. anything after I left. Oh, so wait, how about you guys set it up and then at the end I'll fill in the blanks at the end. Okay, so let me start. I need a beer. You start. Okay, I'm gonna start. So Dustin's um, bachelor party. Dustin's bachelor party. Woo! And I'm thinking, hey, when when. <laughs> When Hoover Stank is at a party, you want Hoover Stank at a party for only a couple hours, right? Yeah. He gets there. He's at the beginning. A little goes a long way. He's at, at the beginning. He's <laughs> killing it. He's like getting, you know, he's getting I'm people. A little much. He's getting people involved. He's drinking. Everybody's having a good time. He he makes conversation with people. You're like, this is the guy that starts the party, right? He um, this is what Derek is. He's a he, he's a classic alcoholic who who is backed off. The 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 uh, Jesus juice a lot, and then he came back like a heroin addict, hoping to go full steam ahead like it was before. He's lucky he didn't die that night. Mistake. Right. Tell him about that beer that you drink. 
Uh, you mean the several that were of that's that? Poor Brothers, yeah. <clears throat> you go to Poor Brothers, you can pour your own. And he's like, I want this. Uh, I think it was a barley wine, right? Well, I was looking for dark beers because I like dark beers. I usually drink Guinness and stuff like that. Stouts, like You're a thick heavy. guy. You Let like a, you it like a... all out. Yeah. So I, I ask Jason here to help guide me because I've never been to Poor Brothers. I've, I've, I'm busy these days. Because you're rich? No. <laughs> Fr- friend, friend of the show, David Lytle. Because I know he's not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm fair to Midland, if that. Uh, David Lytle, friend of the show, David Lytle, used to run Poor Brothers and yeah. recently just moved. But I would go there all the time. It's a place where you can you give them your uh, debit or credit card. They hand you a little card. It's and then cool. You can, you can pour your own, whatever you want. Very right. cool setup, how they how they run that. But so you're drinking these. and what, I wanted dark beers. I get one. Uh, little did I realize that it was like, what, 13 14%? No, you knew. That. No, you knew that. You knew I that. did not know that at no, first. You I did. did not know that at first. No, don't lie to us. I don't know. However, no. you know what? No, when I first got it, I did not know that. However, <laughs> I did not know that. All right, all right. I then made a conscious decision to keep drinking them. So because they were so good. Well, he, he, you knew you didn't have to drive though. I right. did. I yeah. was like, hey, okay, I can, I can. Because we had the the bang bus. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Bang bus. So I was like, okay, I don't have to drive. If I do have to drive, it's gonna be much later. This isn't gonna affect me that much. Right. Mm-hmm. I also didn't eat that day. Oh, kind of forgot. Okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, it caught up to me. I got, I got bit. Well, don't don't talk about getting bit first because I have to go through what happened. From the onlookers' perspective, yeah, order let's, of let's operations. Hear, let's hear what you saw. We're at Poor Brothers, right? Again, Hoobastank is killing it. He's he's socializing. He's a good time. He's got great stories. He's a good time fella. He talked good time, a, Charlie. He talked a lot about cocaine for some reason. Oh Jesus, I didn't I didn't catch that. It's and a so good, it's a good conversation. We get we get in the bang bus and we go downtown downtown downtown, and we're having a good time. And Hoover's getting loud. He's getting loud. He's getting over Hoover loud. Mm-hmm. Par for the course. He, right. He goes up to a friend of mine, your friend as well, but I'm saying a friend of mine more so than a friend of yours, and he screams in his ear. What? I don't know. Whoa, whoa. Why screamed in he's, someone's ear? He screamed in his ear, and my friend said, wow, that was loud. And Hoover said, don't worry, your eardrums will heal. Who was that? I have no recollection of that. Adam Z. I mean, you were like a like a, a oh no, I like know a, that man. A, a quarter of an inch from his eardrum, and you you were you you were as loud as I've ever heard you. Jesus, what did he say? what did he yell? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, probably something stupid. What's like, the yeah, Z stand for? Man. What's the Z stand that's for? That's not that's not how you spell Adam. You know, something so like we're that. having a good time, and uh, Jesus, the next Christ. thing I know, I go I go in and get a sodi pop because I'm I'm already done right because I'm a lightweight and you love sodi. I love sodi pop. Sodi come out. And uh, there's these two people, a, a, a man and a woman, right? And they're standing next to where our group was, and on this on this patio. Yeah. And uh, he says, "Hey, do you know that guy over there?" He says that to you. Yes, and he points across the the walkway. Yeah, he is across the walkway by then. <laughs> and Hoover Stank is over there, and I go, "Oh!" And he goes, "You know that guy? Is he is he doing okay?" And I look over. I said, "It's Hoover Stank." I was like, "Oh, he's cool." <laughs> and then he goes, "Oh." Because he just threw a beer on these two people over there, and I was like, "Oh, well, that doesn't sound like Hoovy to me." Yeah, and uh, some people are Jekyll and Hyde when they get boozy, and I didn't feel like he had like I don't feel like I didn't recognize Hoover <laughs> Boss anymore. Right, and so I, I see Hoovy, and he's walking into the bar across the walkway by himself, Max, and I, and I think these two people are. We used to be the speakeasy, but obviously it's not. Yes, Tannen and Hops. So uh, he walks into this bar, and then uh, uh, me and a, a black friend of mine, his name's Jeff. Right. Um, Super nice guy. Yeah, great guy. Uh, me and him look at each other and go, "Let's go. Let's go assess the situation and help a brother out." Because the way these two people made it sound, that warned me or asked me, uh, made it sound like there was some angry people. Looking for torches him. and pitchforks, angry mob. So, uh, me and my friend, this black, his name's Jeff. D- did you say my friend, this black? No, I said my friend, who's black, his oh, name I saw is Jeff. I thought you said, I saw, I thought you said this no, black. No, 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 no. Okay. So, we go in there, and uh, Hoovy's the only one in this bar. And uh, why is that? Why were there no people inside Max? Well, I think because everybody was outside. So, uh, I go up to the bar and I say, Hoove, how's it going, buddy? He's like, great. He goes, <laughs> and the bartender sounds like me. the The bartender uh, brings two of these. Uh, 
Irish car bombs. Irish car bombs. Yeah. And he's like, where's Dustin? Dustin said he was going to do this car bomb with me. Yeah, I said, n- Dustin had never had a car never bomb Never in his life. And uh, so I said, well, Dustin's already at the other That's bar. Ridiculous. Already at the other bar, buddy. How, you doing all okay? And he said, yeah. He goes, do this with me. And I was like, oh, no. No. <laughs> That's not happening. I'm not doing this with you. I was like, uh, I, you know, there's some people outside that, you know, say that you, uh, you know, threw a, a beer on uh, some people. And Hoove says, hey, I'm happy and I'm having a good time. I don't know what their problem is. And I said, you know what? This is the first I've heard that. That's great. <laughs> and I said, I, I said, but, you know, we probably should we probably should go. Because me and Jeff's decision was to get him to go the back way through. We found the problem. We have to quarantine it. Well, we knew what the problem. We, we, no. <laughs> I was no. being all the COVID. <laughs> Hold on. It was all the damn COVID. We knew where, we knew where the, we knew where the problem was going to be if not redirected okay so, so uh, what you went out the back so the plan was to get him out of this bar go the back way through the bearded owl to the front of 8 bit so he didn't have to walk through these three or four people that were waiting for him okay and I, <laughs> oh, there were, there were and curmudgeons waiting for me and so uh, I, he, I, I said i said I, I said i can't do it with you you know i said are you doing all right he goes I'm fucking happy, man. Nothing's going wrong. And I was like, that's great. What happened to the two yeah, Irish car bombs? I, I was just thinking that. What happened to both of them? Okay, so you did one instantly before anybody, you know, could blink an eye. Yeah. And it's a superpower. Um not I, a good one. So then Kevmo Slice comes in. Yeah, here we go. Hold on a minute, because I got a problem with this too. So Kevmo Slice comes in. Not knowing or having any idea of what has happened prior to you being in that bar. Okay? All right, you're with me? He's <laughs> on the same page as me, then. Okay, yes. So, I have no idea. So, uh, uh, Kemo Slice comes in, and uh, Hoove makes eye contact, and he is like, Hey, do this Irish car bomb. And Kemo Slice is like, Sure will, buddy. So, he does one. Because yeah. he's a good friend. And I'm like, Great. And you're a good friend, too, but he's a good so friend. So, me and buddy. Jeff are with Kemo Slice. And the who boss, right? Mm-hmm. And me and Jeff are trying to get him out of this bar, go the back way around to where the rest of the bridal party is. Bridal party. <laughs> okay. So we walk out. Jeff's in front. Then Kebmo. Then Hoovastank. And then me. I mean, did you guys decide on a formation to keep uh, like like he was? Uh, like, two of us did. Like Hoover Boss was the two president, us. and you guys no. were protecting him. Like I have the CIA a, I have something. a friend who's black. His name is Jeff. The, and he was the, in the front. This black. He was in front, mm-hmm. and I was in the rear. And we're you know, and so we get we get out of the we get out of the 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 door onto the side of the building, and kayfabe Kevin Slice says, starts lighting up a cigar. Sure. And so he obviously he can't walk and light a cigar at the same time. And he's like, hey, Hoove, you want some of this? And Hoove's like, hell yeah, I'm happy, everything's good. Did I really keep saying that? You kept saying it. It's what great. What the hell was going on? It's like on? you were trying to program your mind into thinking that you were doing that okay. That's okay. the secret, positive thinking. Yes. Yeah. And so uh, me and Jeff are like, hey, let's move this along, because we're trying to get you into Bearded Owl back way, into 8-bit front way. And uh, Keb, Keb stops, you stop, and you guys start... Smoking this cigar, ruining the plan. And I said, "Hey, let's just go have that." Oh, you know, over and Kev goes, "What?" You know how he goes, "What? What?" <laughs> Jason, look at me. What? What? <laughs> and it's, very, it's, pretty, it's pretty good. Kev most slice does not know what has has transpired prior to this Irish car bomb. So and he's pretty lit too. He's very lit and good on him. And so. Um, I was like, nah, 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 we just let's just let's just go through beer dial and then we'll go, you know, we'll, we'll go smoke this in front of eight bit. And and Kevin looks at me and goes, What the, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, so Jeff's standing, you know, a, a few feet away, and I look at Jeff, and me and Jeff both make the decision that these are two grown adults. They are grown you know, ass men. They have taxes they've paid mm-hmm. and the uh, hallmark of being an adult. If they refuse yes. to cooperate with two semi-sober people, uh, at some point you have to say, okay. Best of luck. Best of luck. So me and, <laughs> me and Jeff go through Bearded Owl, go to the front of 8-Bit, and say, we, we, we tried to save our yeah, friends. Yeah, tried it. Um, 
Don't know how. I'm almost done. I apologize. Oh, no, you're fine. I was going to say, this is a real-time interpretation yes. of what happens. Yeah. So me and Jeff... This are, is very, very interesting. Me and Jeff go into uh, 8-Bit, which is... Uh, he's black, by the way. This black. No, just... He is black. Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. My 37% friend. black. Mm-hmm. He looks 40. Mm-mm. But... Uh, Age-wise, he does. So we go into 8-Bit, and I go... I think to myself, self, because that's how I refer to myself. And I'm like, this place is way too small for COVID and being in here. Um, but we're in there, you know, and me and Jeff are hanging out, and we're like both like, well, we fucking try. You know, we we're we're consoling each other because like, here's two friends of ours. We're trying to like help them out, and they they were they they flat out refused the help. Okay, but Kevin didn't know what was going on. Right, right but uh, Kevin was also not listening. Yeah. If if you could explain, there was a problem. Sure. And so uh, we're like, okay, well, you know, and then all of a sudden I hear, do the fucking shot, man, <laughs> man. Come on, pussy! Do the fucking oh, shot. Oh, I there's video. Hold on, there's video of this. I was not calling. I was not saying pussy. Well, you were. I was not saying pussy. <laughs> I was not saying calling him a pussy. That's the that's the one thing so far that you're you're gonna hold, that, I, hold I, your okay. guns to. Yes. Oh, is it, are you talking about the second round of Irish car bombs? Uh, yeah, yeah this was the one because Dustin was in here. The the, the bridal party he was, was an eight bit. Any, but the, and, time, time had passed at that point because by then you had already contacted Uber. No, and no. Re- oh, you were left no. right after that. You left right after that. Right, but this is this is the point where I left because uh, uh, who who stank uh, basically bullied and forced a guy who was already drunk to have this beer, which is great. This is bachelor bachelorette party. Yeah, why not? And uh, it was the loudest I've ever heard who. In my life, yeah, and I was like, there was profanities, right? I mean, oh, there was yeah, profanity. You didn't say pussy. I didn't call him a pussy. No, I. But but there was profanity. <laughs> I was swearing like a son of a bitch. You know what? Let's go to tapes. <laughs> so seeing, I can't tell what I'm saying, but they're, I hear myself. They're laugh. talking to each other. <laughs> That's the laugh. Hold on, here we go. Dustin's Dustin's very drunk and high at this point. He's very. He's wearing a guided oh. by voices shirt. All right, hurry up. Okay, they're dropping the shots. Derek, like one, two, two three, three, gone. Four, five, five and a half seconds. It's done. He, he's completed the glass. Here's where it gets. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I didn't. I did. I'm gonna drive a car. So, I all right. So here's what happened then. <laughs> there's, there's where I paused it. You want to know, you know <laughs> what happened? You want to know what happened then? Then I went and played Rampage. Yeah, yeah. He played Rampage for a while. And um, I, I kept checking on him to make sure he. It was about. It was him. just about mid. Just about midnight <laughs> when this happened. And uh, me, uh, Big E, and Adam Z. Uh, because he was now bleeding from the ear, bleeding, bleeding from, the, from ear. the ear. We Poli- apologies, Adam Z. We both decided, hey guys, not my finest hour. We're we're too old for this. Uh, we're not going to be able to hang with these guys. We don't want to also ruin anybody's good time. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't want to be the party poopers, right? Yes. There, there was. Here's what I looked at. It is there's two things. I didn't want to be a party pooper on Dustin's party, and sure. I also didn't want to babysit. Sure, right? So, and that's understandable. That, that job was my job because I was the DD for the night driving that huge 15-person uh, van, so we passenger van. So we went outside, took a breath, and we all decided, hey, uh, let's just call an Uber and go back to Pekin because we're all going back to Pekin. And I, it, was, it was wrong of me to not come in and say, hey, we're taking off. Bye, everybody. But I thought at that point saying goodbyes to s- most people, they either wouldn't care or wouldn't remember. Well, you, most so people we do, were we, lit up. From yeah, the yeah. So there's no. Yeah. You had sent me a message saying that you're getting an Uber. So when people started asking, I said uh, these three assholes left early. Right. And, and they, so and they, they called they, us pussies. They called you pussies. I defended. You said no. They're they're assholes. They're not pussies. These guys can fucking hang in there. They ain't no pussies. I tell you that right now. I had an Uber story too, but well, let's do the next episode because that's, oh, that's I wanted it. to give the PS to what happened after all that exposition. Do you think should we call someone and ask them if we should keep doing the? Yes, uh, we should. If we should keep doing phone calls. Yeah, or let, let, let's let's call someone. All right, you got any ideas who we should call? Hey, I leave it to you because you have more numbers in your phone than I do. Well, sometimes it's about calling a business or something. Or pleasure. Oh, yeah, business or let's, pleasure. Let's do that. Business that up. Kevin or Dustin? Yeah, I was thinking Kevin. Let me go ahead and call him. He's a good time, Charlie. 
<laughs> Part of the problem. <laughs> I was actually mad at Kevin the next day. Hello. Because he was kind of a dick. Hey, Kevin, this is Jason. You're on the Couch Pilots program. What are you doing? I woke up worried. The Couch Pilots worried. program? Like, What's God, that? What did I do? It's the uh, it's a show where we watch awful television pilots from the past. We, we oh, shut no. Steph up. Oh yeah, that's that's Ian. We're we're at the playground. At the playground, you know, that's where I saw this cutie. We'll keep it is quick. That a, is that Biz Marquee? Uh, another bad. Steph, cre- Steph's, uh, Steph's here too, so another okay. bad creation, by the way. ABC BBD. Um, oh, okay. We have Derek uh, Hoover Boss here, and we're recanting uh, the story uh, about how uh, he got super drunk at the uh, bachelor party. Yeah, it was great, man. It, it was, was pretty uh, great. Was, and I will one say... Of, one, of, one of the most uh, recent times that I've tied one off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> baby. That was fun. But but Derek oh, yeah. hates it when we call people on the show. I never said I hate it. Oh, he it. does. Yes, yes, yes. I never he said I hate, hate it. it. Yes. I didn't say so I hate it. So we're calling someone to ask, the per- yeah. and that person's you, and we want to ask you, yeah. should we keep calling people, or should we start it back up again, or should we keep not doing it because Derek hates it? Uh, you know what? It's up to you. I'm just going to leave that to you. Well, that, see, uh, now, not, see, that's not, not helpful at all. That's the safe answer, the Kevin. Thing. I'm not going to leave it to Blake. I'm going to leave it to you, Jason. No. I, just I, I, another no. reason I'm mad at him. Yeah. You're mad at Kevin? Yeah. Why are you mad at him? Feuding. No, I was mad at him for 24 hours, but I'm not mad anymore. anymore. About what was it about? Oh, well, he, was, he, was, he wasn't helping me and my friend that's black, Jeff. Oh, you're talking about what, you ha- what, what you transpired wor- at You Max. work valiantly, and the people who were pissed off, apparently I, it was like I f- flung my hand in a little beer, no, splashed but the I, fucking but, girl. But that, I didn't throw no, no I, goddamn I, beer no, on a fucking I, hipster and I, his dumbass girlfriend. I didn't say you did. I was no, just... I I was, no, you were, you were going off of bad information. I was going off my friend. Yeah, you were going off of some information of, of these two fucking hipsters pissing, pissing and moaning. But, like, oh, he flung a beer. No, 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 no. But I was going... So aggressive and toxic I masculinity. Think, I think aggressive. Like, beep, beep. Aggressive. I think, were, I think they were regular people. I don't think they were hipsters. I think that's where you're wrong. Well, really? Here, here's I, some information. I feel, like, uh, I feel like it was a hipster thing. Here's some information I found out about. I mean, I was drunk. So. I don't know if you heard this or not, Kevin, but uh, there's a guy named Eric there who turned out to be kind of an asshole. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and yeah. Uh, he's an asshole because he tried to film Derek and uh, Blaine getting into a yeah, fight. Yeah, what? I, yeah, you, you were talking about that. <laughs> what? And I was like, what, guy, I was like, what yeah, kind of asshole yeah. is like trying to make light or take advantage of this? Tra- anyway, um, yeah. he, he comes in. He's like, hey, I know that guy that Derek got the beer on. And it turns out he's cheating on his girlfriend. And that girl that he's with is cheating on her boyfriend, and they're there together. This is such a sordid night. Oh, yeah. my God. Isn't that funny? Anyway, that's... So, so was, is that currency, then? Is that, is, is that the tea? Is I feel like it's there? clout. Yeah. I feel like it's clout, Kev. That's exactly right. Hey, Kev. Wow. Kev. Wow. What's up? Blake Clayton here. Um, yeah. Do you want to go ahead and apologize for being a dick to me that night? I don't remember it, so uh, I will definitely apologize. Thank you. Yes. I appreciate yeah. that. What do I do? Well, well, you know what? <laughs> I do <laughs> apologize, but I can anticipate that what I did uh, was something that d- probably doesn't warrant an apology, yep. but you know what? I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got you dead to rights. Uh, Kevin, where are you at with uh, the new house? Are you pending an inspection, and then you're going to buy it? Yeah. Yeah, we had an inspection on our home today, and too much carbon went monoxide. Well, and we are going into the inspection at the new house tomorrow, which I was praying for rain, and uh, thank God we are going to be blessed with some rain tomorrow, like and tonight, Great. just like so Africa, right? Yeah, hopefully that we we are able to see if there's water in the basement tomorrow afternoon when Good I go call. to the inspection. So that's uh, that's what we're looking at. Well, good luck to you. I hope it works out because it's yeah. uh, about a half a mile from where I live, and I want to walk yeah, to your great. house every day and peer yeah, into your great. windows and, and be a fly on your wall. So good luck to you. Kevin, yeah, quick. Come see, my, come see my dumb baby. What's up? Quick <laughs> quick question. How the hell do you know my friend Caitlin? Because that's awesome that you two know each I other. I went to high school with her. Shut uh, the her hell up. Her younger sister is my age. We graduated uh, the same year. She, yeah, she's my brother's age. Oh, that's badass. Yeah, just uh, her her sister was in the same kind of group of. Well, I had many groups of friends, but her sister. I was figured as much. In one of my main friend groups. Uh, Very in high school, cool. So Very she cool. was in the, she was in the musicals too. That's kind of how I knew her. Yeah. Well, I gotcha. Was I gotcha. it a good year for the roses? Uh, terrible year for the roses. I'll okay, tell you that much. I got gotcha. well. And with that, I think yeah. that ties up all the loose ends. Thank well, you. Well, yeah. there's still oh, yeah. a awesome. loose end. Hey, you know. Thanks for calling. I'm just. I, we'll, uh, I, we'll talk to you soon. We love you, Kevin. Hold on a minute. Hold, 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 that's what I'm saying. Blake wants to say something else. Go ahead, Blake. Okay. 
I just, uh, you know, you said earlier that uh, what you're apologizing for probably wasn't warranted. Oh, uh, God. I, I really <laughs> yeah, think yeah. that I was trying to be a really good friend to two of my friends, and uh, uh, both of them were assholes to me. I was not an asshole You can to hang you. up anytime you want, Kevin. So, uh, I refuse wait, so, to so, believe so, this. So I, so I need to apologize to you for what? I'm sorry. Uh, I just want to get this straight. Because... Because you were being an asshole as I was trying to protect a friend. Uh, I, I thought that you said that you were being nice to two people, and I was just not one of those people. No, 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 no. I was trying to be nice to two people and help and help some brothers out because that's what we I call them brothers. And yeah, uh, correct. They weren't they weren't working with me. Let's wrap this shit up. God, just damn say it. sorry. I think the moral of the story is is uh, we'll have to we'll have to hear the whole story. Uh, uh, Derek next either week needs to drink pilots. less. Or uh, drink uh more. yeah. Uh, episode twenty five. Uh, episode season twenty five, episode <laughs> three. Hey, by the way, great Tuckleys boys. Oh, fa- thank you. Oh, I love your Tuckleys. Not too bad yourself, partner. We'll see you later. <laughs> All right, see you. Love bye. you. Oh, he didn't say I love you back. I fucking hate that. Well, he told me in confidence that he doesn't love you. So, I mean, I, and obviously, I just broke that confidence. But still, do so I need to like weed out some friends? You need to stop saying I love you during text. That's like the fruitiest thing I've ever heard in my life. That's a different story. Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to brass tax. Can you believe that, Derek? Brass tax. Believe what? You ever been think? in a text chain with a bunch of guys, and one of the guys says, "Oh, I love you," and he sends all these crying emojis, like he's sobbing, and <laughs> and there was a knife to a wrist emoji. Yeah, yeah. typical, yeah. typical that's, Tuesday night. That's for me. typical. Yeah. It's typical Tuesday night for me. Oh my god! Today, you know discuss- what, Derek? If you don't tell your friends. In your family that you love them, I tell I tell people all the time. There may not be them. tomorrow. I tell them all the time. They you know how them. I tell so everyone in my life that I love them <laughs> by with, existing with my actions. There you go. Because your words, oh. you can shove them right up your poop hole. Because my actions tell you. And I, what, I, I gave hey, you a Pee Wee hey, Herman hey, doll. The I know. Other day. I know that you love me because in a pinch you came over with daughter Lorelai. She let the hizzy. My actions, and, and have I ever told you that I loved you? I don't think so. But God damn it, do I show it? God damn and you did, I've known right. you since we were eight. Mm-hmm. At least eight. Right. Maybe and, seven. And Single digits. You did you were you were very nice uh on Wednesday, Wednesday night and you asked me if you could do anything for me and I did. I wanted to send that. you a pizza because I knew you were down here crying on the toilet like like it was any other Wednesday, but this time you had a reason to cry. You cry on the toilet. Two hundred gallons. I had two hundred gallons of reason. Come out of them. It came right out of them. Oh, two hundred gallons on the toilet. Today we discuss the pilot episode of the Craig Ferguson show. Oh, we're doing a we're doing a <laughs> let's talk about, about a let's TV talk show. about this shit <laughs> from the year of our Lord nineteen hundred and ninety. Now that was a great year, terrible year. Mm. Was that the year your dad got married? No, that was nineteen eighty seven. Why was why was nineteen ninety bad? Did Alex, you touched? Alex was born. Alex Rodriguez <laughs> was born. Listen, here we go. Great um, baseball player. This is the 25th season, like you had mentioned, oddly. Silver. On, on the it's the silver. five seasons. That's silver, it's babe. It's the silver. Well, I mean. That's a nice we, platter. We, we declared that 10 episodes were a season. I guess we could have. De- That's fine. We could have declared that That's two fine. episodes were a season, and we'd be on season. Seven th- episodes is a season of Stranger Things. You're doing fine. Listen, this 25th season is a historic season, not only because of the numbers, Benchmark. but also because of Chris Tuckley, super fran- fan all the way from the UK, sent us 10 more unsold <clears throat> pilots, failed television programs, and we're dedicating an entire season to these UK pilots. And what is it called, Blake? It's the Tuckley 10 Part 2. Yeah. I figured he was responsible for this shite. That's exactly right. Uh, all right. Season 17 uh, was the Tuckley 10 original. I recall. Oh, good um, call. And... Um, I only know that because he says it at the beginning in the bumper. You're going to put that bumper on. Oh, all, it, all day, er day. Love, bumper, that. Bumper, Love bumper, that bumper. bumper. Um, but Chris Tuckley is a man who is uh, way too well-educated to listen to our show, but finds uh, copious amounts of entertainment listening to us. Good for him. And uh, we love him for that. He's worked hard. He's dug. He, he got his knuckles a little bloody trying to find these links. And, uh, I think he's used to that though, because he is out there checking out like medieval yeah, he's, stones and yeah, he's digging like, a, he's digging for Viking bones. This is a dude I could hang out with. Yeah, he, he, follow him on Twitter. You guys see some cool stuff. I guarantee it. And we're actually we're thinking about uh, doing a, a, a GoFundMe so we can go over mm-hmm. and hang out with. Chris we want to be funded to be able to do that. Yeah, yeah. and and uh, they only have two beds and one's for the kid, so that's kind of weird. But we'll just lay uh, on the floor. Would I was gonna lay with wife. 
Well, you, uh, yes. remember we went to Johnson City over there. It's called Lane the... with Wife. Uh, I think. Johnson City, Tennessee was great. You made me sleep on the floor. I did not make you. And then you're like, I'll sleep in the bed with another woman. Big E did. <laughs> Big E made you sleep on the floor. Well, I'm not getting in the bed with that guy. No, but he said I I can't sleep on the floor. He, he... I had no problem sleeping on the floor. But you 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 jumped in the bed with Heather immediately. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? She smelled good. That anyway, happened. the Craig Ferguson show. 1990, great year. Not good year for the roses because I was a, fr- I, I was merely a freshman. Ten failed UK pilots. This is the third one. The Craig Ferguson Show, 1990. <laughs> I, I was nine years old. I was eight. I was 15 and fancy free. Third grade, kicking ass, taking names. I uh, am I getting a call here? Oh, Are you? Jesus. It's, my bro- it's my brother. Should I take it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Wh- Which brother? Why not? Hello. What's up? You get it? Yeah, I got it. What do you think? It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, um, I got it, and it's pretty cool, and I'm glad you gave it to me. Thank you very much. No problem. Well, you know, you're the biggest fan of the show. You're the rest of us. We all just... It's in great so condition. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I figured it would. And that box art is cool, and the box is in great shape, and I think it's complete. It looked complete to me, and I tell you what. It made me complete. <laughs> Good. Good. And that book is pretty sweet too, right? Yeah, I read the book. It's it's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, it's great. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very quintessential. Uh, yeah, I really had a good time. It's just so simple, but really well made too. I'm kind of surprised how like. How nice the book is. Really. I'm, I'm going to find a good spot for it. Yeah, I really like it a lot. Thank you so much. It was brought to me while I was mowing the grass, and then I had to come record a, a program, so I didn't have time to get a hold of you, but I really enjoy it. No worries. That was the, uh, the show. I saw uh, Blake was complaining again about the storm water. <laughs> Blake's always bitching about something, but um, the, the show is going real well. I just wanted to make sure you got it and that you liked it. And, uh, yeah, I won't be getting you a ton of stuff. Since that had just come up and I thought that was perfect. Well, I'm going to expect a lot of stuff, so figure it out. (laughs) All right. All right, I love you very much. Goodbye. Okay, Uh, bye. Bye. He didn't say I love you. That's Now he's dead to you. I fucking hate that. Now he's dead to you. My brother uh, got me this. Um, it was it's color form. Do you remember that? Yeah, uh, you remember everything. That's not fair. <laughs> do you remember it? <laughs> Why do you say that in such a deriding because way? Because it's like it's like you have che- you have somehow cheated life by knowing, ev- <laughs> being able to know and remember everything and recall Why, was, everything. Wait, I'm sorry, I cheated it's, life. It's, it's a cheat. It's at life. You are, every you're, goddamn Sunday you cheat life. You're, what are you you're talking? A, you're, about? you're a walking, talking, living life hack. You, you, what the. F- is this? You are you 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 have like some like that cow because, because you can remember anything. You're I, like Rocky Dennis without the deformation. What the f- was he known for his memory? Oh yeah, I thought he was known for his bad cheekbones. No 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 <laughs> no. They uh, there's a few uh, scenes in the film yeah. where uh, he, sure he, he, he recalls shit like verbatim. Okay. Anyway, um, so how am I cheating life and life hacking? And because whatever? your face is a you deform. can remember everything, and you can. Here's the thing. All I said no. was I remembered what color forms. Are. You're cheating life because you can remember everything, and your face isn't deformed, and you don't have mom. Uh, your share sh- is not your mom. Mm-hmm. And Sam Elliott isn't your uh, would be stepdad. Okay, but that's it. That's it. <laughs> it, it color forms are these little like pieces of plastic that would yeah. stick to another piece of plastic, and there was like there are different licenses like the Muppet Babies or mm-hmm. just stuff of that nature where kids would buy, and they have a little scene, and they could take these little pieces and, and like make a little scene. Yeah, and then you put them in the oven. No, no, that's a shrink. No, that's dink. shrinky dinks. Love to see them shrink. Um, that's what people call my dick. Oh, and you want to high five that shit? Kadoosh. My brother found me a, it was seemingly in perfect condition, Ren and Stimpy color form. Oh, Shut cool. up, that's awesome. He got it for five bucks and he gave it to me. That's cool. So, that's pretty. That's you what know, that phone call was. You know what? That's pretty cool. That's a good bro. Let's go back to 1990, shall we? In, in our, our minds. minds, we gotta fucking get this show back on track. Let's talk about things that happened in the UK mm. in 1990. Mm. All right. Uh, August 3rd of 1990, the heat wave peaks with a temperature of 37.1 degrees Celsius. That's, <laughs> that's 98.8 degrees Fahrenheit, recorded in Chettleham, Gloucestershire. 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 Oh, the sheep, right? Those, that day, those sheep were probably sweating their balls off. Hell yeah. 
They were sweating bad. Oh, yeah! And you're going to want a high five. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. All right. All that right. was good. You know what? Let's go ahead and just say it. The first ever silver trophy goes to Hoovastank for the best joke Probably on ever. season 25. Probably ever. Awesome. Here's your trophy. Awesome. I appreciate it. It will be displayed proudly. Good job. Oh, yeah, indeed. Ooh, you, want to, you want to say that punchline one more time? They were sweating. Bad. <laughs> We don't even have to pay for this shit. We just invite him over. It's free. It's free. It's off the top of my goddamn head. We're 45 minutes in, and we don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> it's all that shandy. Uh, we're, we're going straight Tuckley on this shit. 98.8 degrees Fahrenheit. It, like, like last week it got to about, like, 93 to 95, like, all week. Yeah, yeah. but they're delicate people. They, they do have porcelain oh, skin. Pasty. Oh. They're very pasty. Yeah, I guess they are. I say, Radiga, it's rather hot and humid outside. What's uh, <laughs> What's your favorite 98 Degrees song? Oh, God. Um, probably. Um, pussy I, Control. I, I Miss Your Wait, Pussy Control. Prince. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, that is Prince, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, little Red Corvette. Yep. Raspberry Beret. Bur- I think the T is hard. It's a hard T. Berate. Yeah. You, got a hard you berate Slitter. somebody All with right. raspberries. Blake's leaving. Um, August 23rd, British hostages in Iraq are paraded on TV. Hostages? It'd be nice to have a parade. Right? In your honor. The next day, Irish hostage Brian Keenan is released in Beirut, Lebanon, after being held hostage there for more than four years. Four goddamn years in Lebanon? What's that called when you love your captors? That's not Florence. Stockholm Syndrome. Stockholm. I was thinking Florence Sinai. That's when someone who takes care, care of, of you. Care of you and you fall for him. Stockholm. Do you th- feel like you would uh, become a victim or fall into the spell of Stockholm Syndrome? Well, I'm still with Shauna. Oh, and you're going to high five. I'm that shit. kidding. I love her. Uh, would I? Would I fall for Stockholm Syndrome? No. I think I would. Nah. After a while, it's like if that's all you know is the people around you, who are even because like who knows? Maybe this guy was playing a Super Nintendo. You know, maybe he had a Super Nintendo to play. Maybe yeah. it wasn't terrible. Do you, do you think he was in like a, a concrete cell, drinking out of a dog? He was dish? in Beirut, Lebanon. Yeah, yeah, it was terrible. But they probably have hummus there, right? A lot of like gallons, a lot of hummus. Like, oh yeah, hummus like grape crazy. leaves. That's pretty. Probably good. some ga- but some baba ganoush. Remember that show? Um, what are you doing? Wrap it up. Hey, you know what, pal? You know what? I don't need your shit. It was supposed to be like a, just like, hey, let's let's get it you going. Remember, you know what's you know what's adorable? He's doing that with his hand, right. which is really cute. It's a fun gesture. He's cute. After going on like twenty minutes about, oh, there yeah. was an asshole to no, appear on two did, people cheat. It was, I didn't it was say a you second, were an asshole. I know. I it was know. a second, but it was a second count of what. Do happened. you not think that I was just trying to be a good I, friend? Hold Seriously, on. I do guarantee that you were trying to look out for me. I guarantee okay. that. I one thousand. Do you think I was out of line? No. Okay. No. Then fuck you guys. I thought oh, I was no. doing the right thing. It's just it's, not, it's not about doing the God right damn, thing. damn, he took a while telling this It's story. about 25. He loves telling long fucking stories. <laughs> like, I could sum up the rest of that night after I yeah. got home. About in, 30, 35 seconds. If that. Ready? Yeah. Start the clock. Go. All right. All right. Got home from Jeff. I remember wait, wait. going inside. Wait. Are you hold, starting hold on. Yeah. Hold on. I need to start the clock. Give me one Say second. Say when. Say when. Hold on. Like so much Doc Holiday. Say when. Say it the way Doc Holiday would say it. Say when. Say, you, hey. Say when. Say when. Say when. I love that, I love that movie. It's, a be- it's the best. You know what my favorite line of that movie is? I'm a Huckleberry. Get that goddamn dog out of here! <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, so uh, Jeff took me home. I went upstairs, changed clothes, came down, looked at the clock. It was 1245. I went to sleep, as far as I knew. I woke up at about 6 o'clock in the morning, took a shower, went back to bed. Find out from Shauna that apparently she got up at 3.30, couldn't find me, assumed I fell asleep upstairs, went to the bathroom, starts taking a piss, hears snoring, looks in the shower, there I am in the shower, butt naked, bone dry, sleep. Takes me 20 minutes to get back into the bedroom. She thought I drove home, woke up the next morning, found out I didn't, didn't drive home, and I sweated my ass off all day. Boom, time. God, great. that's, that's God. great. Where are we at? You know what? That, that was exactly 35 seconds. I'm gonna God damn right. High five that shit. <laughs> Are you taking notes here? Are you taking notes on how to do it fast? <laughs> Molly says I do it fast. <laughs> well, she actually forces. She, God she, damn, she, my hand is raw. High five that shit. <laughs> <laughs> she forces me to go fast. August 27th, the BBC begins broadcasting on Radio 5, its first news station in 23 years. BBC Radio 5 was Wait, a BBC radio network that carried sport, children's, and educational programs from 1990 
1994. We started a new station, BBC Four. BBC One! A BBC, BBC Two! two. BBC, BBC Three! BBC, BBC Four! And so on. Um, you get it. Why did we choose to watch the Craig Ferguson show? There are three reasons, and I will say there was a, a there, fourth. There's a fourth. <gasps> there's a fish hook. Cuatro. Mm? Do you know the reasons? Uh, well, one. It has to be something that never went to air. Awesome! Two, it's got to be free. Three, something. Four, Chris Tuckley. What's, uh, what's, what are you doing? What, what, him close. what? You don't know the third one? Uh, I'm freaking on it at the moment because I'm just drunk on life. He's a brick. Present. Ow. Uh, let's see. Never aired or never went to series. That's one. Got to be free and easily Two. accessible. You got, you got it. You got it. You got and it. number four, Chris Tuckley. Yeah, Chris Tuckley. Chris Tuckley, number four. Uh, come on. Chris Tuckley, congratulations. Hey. Quattro. Guys, three cheers in three. the air. Three Chris cheers. Tuckley. Chris Tuckley. Hey. Chris Tuckley. Hip hop hooray. I forgot you, to mention. You live um, in Brighton and you dig up rune stones. You can find the entire episode of the Craig Ferguson Show by subscribing to Couch Pilots and SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or your favorite podcast app of choice, and then simply click on one of our classically blue links in our show notes, or go to YouTube, Derek. Hey, you know what to do, too. Bring it back now. He's going through this DJ phase, and he doesn't understand. No, I'm learning Morse code. That is an SOS. I hate this show. That's what that's. That's what that comes to. That's exactly what it is. All right. So summary of the pilot: a half-hour variety comedy show starring a young Craig Ferguson. Rate it. Uh, that's rate, like a uh, rate the summary. Uh, it's 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 a C plus. Derek, it's accurate. <laughs> so is that just a C? Straight up C? <laughs> it's a fucking C plus. Interesting fact, Tessa. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Chris Tuckley Tuckley 10 part. <laughs> These are interesting facts that we have clossed the pond for. Please don't share your thoughts on these facts because it's irrelevant, you bloody fag. Don't taint someone else's experiences. Just listen to these facts and enjoy them. So damn me. Okay. I want a bicycle. <laughs> Woody. A bicycle. Woody, I'm. Keep going. You got it. Woody. <laughs> Come on. Woody. Psst, psst, psst. I am a spring loaded dog. Wow. Okay, there it is. <laughs> okay. All right. That's, I mean, that's, that's probably fine. What, what's the, what's the more? What's That'll work. Um, here, 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 here. Stretch me out like a slinky dog. Oh. Woody, stretch me out like a slinky dog. Mate. Okay. There it is. All How right. was that? Let me, let me try one more time. It's not Jim Varney. Yeah, let's do one it's more. It's interesting. Go, go. Um, one more hot take. Go, uh, someone poison the water hole. Oh, in that voice? Yeah. Woody, someone poisoned the water hole. There's a snake in my boot. Aired on ITV Fact. In that, was, that was the quickest fact you've ever done. That scared me. That's a hot fact. That's, Quick like, fact. that's like the joke, uh, the, the three-line uh, setup and the one-word one payoff. Punch. Uh, take my wife. Please. Please. Oh, hey. um, in 1990, after enjoying success at the Edinburgh Festival... Ferguson appeared in a pilot that was broadcast for Granada Television, which co-starred Paul Whitehouse and Helen Atkinson Wood. Fact. I mean, it happened. What are you going to say? I mean, that's all you can say here. I it would. Happen? I would defy you to say anything about it. <laughs> Why you want to start a fight? Bring it. I would. I, I. I'm actually kind of in the mood to fight. Yeah. Uh, stars the titular hilarious Craig Ferguson. Folks in the U.S. may know him from the Late Late Show. The Drew Carey Show mm -hmm. and how the How to Train Your Dragon series fact. Oh, that's fun for the kids. What? That's a fact. That what I but just said is a fact. You can't no, say a subjective. fact when he says a fact. You can't add a fact. That's huh? not. That's not a fact. That's what he said was subjective, and yeah. ultimately was it subjective? It, it violates. Let's hear the rules again. Penalty. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, so you, ba you basically are telling me that movie is not fun for kids. Okay. Okay. Wow. Uh, wow. All right. I don't even know what to say right now. You've tainted our experience. Sorry. Sorry. Let me get a baby wipe. 
Ooh, uh, that's taken away. This was Paul Whitehouse's television debut. You may know him from uh, Tim Burton's Corpse Bride and Alice in Wonderland, and also uh, the UK's The Fast Show. Fact. UK had a fast show. You got it? No, that's it. Um, and finally stars Charlie Higson, and you may know him from also The Fast Show, Randall and Hopkirk, and Swiss Tony, all UK shows this captain's never, never heard of. Nice. Interesting facts over. Nice. Great job. Twitter responses. Twitter. Oh. Twitter responses. Twitter responses. I wonder if Jason's got some Twitter responses. Ten yeah. responses. I actually do this time. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, shit. I got to write this down. Yeah, yeah. These came all the way across the pond. As we do with every pilot that we uh, investigate here, we say greetings from the Couch Pilots program. We talk about TV shows that had only one episode. Next up for us is the Craig Ferguson Show. We're excited to watch it, and we're wondering if you have any fun or interesting info you want to share. Thanks. We hope to hear from you. And uh, the last person I mentioned there in Interesting Facts, and one of the uh, Craig Ferguson players, as it were, is a fella goes by the name of Charlie Higson. He, you can find him on Twitter at, at Monstroso, M-O-N-S-T-R-O-S-O. And for uh, the first uh, response, he says, I will be eternally grateful uh, to ITV for not commissioning a series because it meant Paul and I got together with Harry and created his first sketch series instead. Hmm. Oh. So he would have been tied up doing something else. Nice. Tied up. I like it. And you want to high five that again. Goddamn. <laughs> I can't. My hands are tied. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, uh, I yield my trophy to this gentleman. Why, thank you, sir. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shit. Um, That's good stuff, man. It also meant that Craig then relocated to the U.S. where he had great success. It was fun to make the show at the old Granada Studios in Manchester. Manchester. I love their soccer. I, I'm sorry. I love their football team. They play football. Man, Man United, right? Man yeah. United. You uh, know, how about 12 of us? Uh, uh, 12 of us on our team for three hours. Let's kick the ball around. I know that I'm going to watch the Man U game while eating some bangers and mash at my favorite pub, the Horsehead Bottom Pub. <laughs> Horsehead Bottom. Horsehead Bottom Pub. Finally, uh, Charlie says, one of the sketches Paul and I had written for the series was the football sketch where a team uh, from the 30s plays a modern team, which eventually ended up on Harry's show. Okay. And to which uh, he, he, he delivered these to me in, great, in quick succession. That's great. And so at the end, I say, wow, thank you so much. Things often happen uh, the way they do for a reason, this case being one of those things. Uh, thank you so much for getting back to me. Continued success to so, you. So this pilot... For him and, and some of his buddies, it was better that it wasn't picked up because it's it could have stifled other successful things. He's good fortune. At the time, you're probably like, ah, what a bummer. You know, Craig's uh, Craig's got some heat. We can draft off of that, maybe get something eventually of our own. But in the meantime, maybe we pump out three or four series, as they call it over there, sure. of this show, but it didn't get picked up to their benefit. I didn't know uh, who Harry was. They said that they got together with Harry and created his first sketch show, but that's fine. Because Chris Tuckley chimes in this conversation because he knows exactly what he's talking about. And he says, congratulations on getting a response from Charlie Hickson. For context, Harry Enfield's television program and Henry Enfield and Chums were some of the most successful comedy shows of the 90s on UK TV. This is a sketch uh, Charlie Higgins mentioned, which I haven't seen in 30 years, but which I can still remember from all that time ago. And it was that soccer sketch, and in, in you can find that on Daily Motion. It's called Harry Enfield Arsenal versus Liverpool. Uh, that's a little sidebar and ultimately some good information for, uh, for us from Chris Tuckley. Nice. Oh, yes. Very good indeed. Um, thank you very much, Charlie Higson, for getting back with us. We really appreciate that. Let's go ahead and put 10 minutes on the clock. And as we break down and discuss Throw in detail the pilot episode of the Craig Ferguson Show, Derek. Yeah, the Craig Ferguson what Show. What do you got there? Notes on your phone? Hmm? Do you have notes on your I phone? I have no notes. I don't need notes on this show. No, 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 no,
All right, if you got no notes, uh, one of you start. Okay, so uh, the show starts out with a pink Cadillac, and uh, Craig Ferguson was with some buddies, and it's obviously a green screen. And it's like, it's probably the, all the cast of the show is white. Sure. Right. And they're promising opening. Yeah, and they're going through like rain, and they're going through all this stuff as they're going through. And um, Craig Ferguson looks super young here, like he kind of like, like a baby. You know, it's only been it's only been. 30 years. 30 years. Yeah. But yeah, it's been. It's 30 years. Been. But the Craig Ferguson I know has got some gray. He's got some salt and pepper. Yeah. He's distinguished. But here he looks Regal. very, he looks very, very. He looks like a kid. Uh, yeah. He's a and so he comes out and he's doing a monologue, basically. He's doing a, a monologue at, or stand up. He, he's on stage addressing the he's camera and seemingly, um, is, it, is, is it a live audience? There's a laugh track, but is it a live audience, you think? I would imagine I think it there is. there was because there was a couple times that the camera pulled back like over his shoulder and that's it showed okay, a that's live right. audience. Over his shoulder, boulder holder. Booyah. So <laughs> the thing I found. The audience is a bra. That, you know what? Hashtag. The audience is a bra. He's got all black suit on. He's got a hoop earring. There is a laugh track. And you're right. There is a live audience. And he starts out talking about how squirrels are stupid. And I I, I vigorously started writing. I was like, Jason loves squirrels. He just made a squirrel house. He has names for his squirrels. I've got all yeah. sorts of updates. We'll talk about and, that after this. And, we got to get through the podcast. I love squirrels, too. No, we got black squirrels. But I thought, they have myself, perfect names. I thought to myself, self, because that's how I refer to myself. True. I was like... Jason is already pissed off as well this, you should at be. this pilot. So uh, he's talking about squirrels and how animals are stupid, and he starts talking about hedgehogs. And he did he say hedgehogs in there? I had a hard time understanding. Him. He did. It, it was very. It's very, very hard yes, time understanding no. him. But, you know what? <clears throat> Uh, Derek, try to do this for 10 episodes. I can't <sighs> fucking understand people. And, and the UK is made up of Wales, uh, England, whoa, whoa, whoa. Scotland. We call them heavy ladies. Well, or heavy ladies. And then also uh, Ireland, right? And he is, I believe, Scottish. He's Scottish. So his accent is very thick He's at this point. He's got a very thick, He's at this brogue. time, thick Scotch Baroque. Yeah. Nowadays, you Love can understand Love a thick Scotch saying. Baroque, right? That's delicious. Well, um, yeah, he's talking about basically how dumb... Uh, Squirrels are head ho- hedgehogs, and then he even and then he says uh, he hears and responds uh, to uh, dolphins. He says dolphins are dumb too because he's talking at he's basically talking to someone at home. Well, and I thought and it was they, like the Queen of England. He like was talking to someone or an old lady talking to him through the TV. Yeah, and then he starts talking to this dolphin through the TV. It's as a well. man dressed as a dolphin. And it's a, dolph- a dolphin. No, no, or a no, dolphin no, and like no. it's a dolphin dressed like a mater d. Well, hold no, on, hold on. What, what is it? It's a real dolphin. It's a real dolphin. No, it's a real dolphin. Okay, that, I think that will affect my score. I did some Googling. So. Dressed as a mater d. Then we hear uh, we see some stock footage of lions and Craig Ferguson doing like an American uh, America's Funniest Home Video Bob Saget style like talking about the lion. Yeah, yeah. He references some uh, like Animal Magic, which was a show that was basically like a. I did hear the words Animal Magic in, in his <laughs> Animal ramblings. Magic, Animal Magic, <laughs> uh, uh, Animal Magic, Animal Magic. <laughs> Uh, and then they got li- it shows in the stock footage they got the lions humping. I don't, oh. I don't need to see it. They're getting down with the swerve. It goes, well, no, it goes, because uh, that was important because that goes into doesn't it go into his next thing about sex? Uh, or is that a little bit further? Well, down? It, it, it does go back to Craig. It's a lot of like Craig talking on stage. It's like the like you, if you guys remember like in the past fifteen years the Chappelle show, yeah, where he was on stage addressing the talking audience, talking to the audience, and then they throws would go to it sketches. to a sketch. And if anybody back. doesn't know, uh, Dave Chappelle is a black man that does comedy. This black, he's yeah. this black. So um, back to Craig. He's uh, then like he's like basically saying, don't expect to have a good time with someone you met on holiday if you meet up with them again. So this is right. another pre-tape sketch where Craig is out to dinner with a lady and the guy that he met while on vacation or holidays, they say. Holiday. In Amsterdam shows up. Holiday in Amsterdam. Holiday. 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 I prefer Amsterdam because Celebrate. they have the hash Celebrate. bars and sex shops. Yeah, so basically this guy that he met there is like, oh, you remember when you were drinking and you know get, doing cocaine and, and going to the red light district and this Claire... Uh, Claire, I think, maybe, or Charlotte. Or By the way, the, the way you just described that, you have way better diction than that guy. 
<laughs> it means you speak much, much better. We've, we've oh. actually made a point not to talk about Blake's diction on the show going <laughs> uh, forward. I was like, okay. hello, okay. Great, great diction. We can edit that out. That's okay. We're not. Yeah, so it, it is, it, it, it's basically this, this lady is like offended about all the stuff that she finds out about her date. And then she gets up to walk away. She's all pissed off. And then the guy comes in. And walks her holiday guy. Yeah, he's like, hey, here's my sausage. With right? a cummerbund. <laughs> and so then we get to uh, cut to Noel Clan. I, yeah, yeah, we go back to Craig doing his stand up, but he, he's saying, and now it's time for the cabaret really call it corner. Eh, he was standing. Yeah, okay. He was standing up there. Mr. Noel Claw, a man standing in front of like a brick wall, and he's wearing like one of those clapping hats, and he's he got a guitar, and he's addressing the camera as well, and he's like purposefully telling bad jokes. He talks about like being a ventriloquist, but he doesn't have a dummy, and then he starts to sing a song about coat hangers multiplying. And then then what happens to this gentleman? He gets shot he with gets, a machine gun. He yeah, it's mowed down. He gets shot with a machine gun instantly, right? Which is uh, the best way to die? In my unexpected. unexpected. I, I know th- you've always said that about dying. You want to like go by wink, machine gun? The wink, the ping after he shot him. Okay, that was funny. He yeah. he's another guy who's like a classic alcoholic, like Derek here. And I I would Who I would is, venture Craig to say, yeah I would venture to say yeah. that he was drunk the whole time that he did this. Oh, I guarantee it. Yeah. We can smell our own. <laughs> he's been sober probably like. 15, like 20 years, pussy. but at this time, like he was, he was a really. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah. And then we get like a break. Yeah, Booze so get, and cocaine. With yeah. That movie. So we go. Uh, yeah, we all know about your cocaine because you told whoa, everybody wait, whoa, about it. Whoa, whoa. We go to part two, and it's a bit about whales because he goes back to animals, not not the country, right? Actual physical whales, and he he basically is like shitting on them. Because they're making noises. And like how animals communicate by almost like farting is what he says. Right. Yeah. So he talks about him being stupid and not being able to compete on game shows. And then he references a couple game shows that the, don't sound yeah. familiar to me. Well, it's like, it's like Family Feud, but like the... the Guess rip. those knickers. Yeah. yeah I, I, that's... Bobby or Lori. <laughs> now now there's another pre-tape bit where he's on a bus and is like... The bus stuck in the middle of the road because they're waiting for cows to go past. Or and something. this is where I had a lot of trouble with the dialect. Me too. Oh, this and was I, I was bad. like, I was missing jokes. I thought because I didn't understand what they were saying. Or maybe you weren't missing any jokes. Here. Yes, I don't know. But maybe. it was basically it, it was it was cows versus a coach, which is a bus. And there was uh, the bus driver, and then a guy sitting kind of up behind him, and that was Craig, dressed as kind of a nerdy character. And they're talking about like like deli meats and, and, and tomatoes, they? yeah, yeah, and tomatoes. I and cannot and express fish. how hard of a it was tough. Time yes, it was tough. I had understanding, and this is going to affect my score for sure. And there was the guy who was I, I, Derek, and I believe it to be a man dressed as a dolphin. But you're adamant in saying that it was an actual. It was dolphin. a real dolphin. Well, you either was, way. Well, didn't you notice how like the bus was like? It was full of water. I didn't catch that. I missed oh. that too. I missed that too. I was distracted mm. by the poor, poor UK humor. Well, they go back to. Um, oh. They go back to Craig Love doing your stand hair, up, by the way. and they go. Uh, he starts talking about like sandwiches and like who came up with that Earl of Sandwich. There were sandwiches around, but for yeah. him, well, how, how did they come up with the name Sandwich? Right. You know? and it's funny because me and uh, uh, Jason have been doing this podcast together for. Our silver anniversary. It seems like yeah. twenty five years. It seems like twenty five oh, yeah. years. And one of the things that I've noticed twenty five years, like no, 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 people. My it, life is still right, and we're a bit. We're, we've been we we we're almost so close that we can finish each other's sandwiches. Don't mm. interrupt me. <laughs> Delicious. Um, so uh, there's he's basically saying how they come up with names of things like like table. They could have called table scrotum. And like we're taking the sex out of things. This is not particularly good stand up. No, it's really not. And this um, is really bad, bad Scottish Seinfeld. I will say that this is like it is bad Scottish Seinfeld. <laughs> I, I would say that this next bit is maybe the funniest bit in in the whole lot of them. Yes. It's, it's basically saying they're taking the sex out of everything, including adult films. And here we see like a bad dubbed kind of grainy, purposefully poorly dubbed uh, ad, like adult film without well, without showing any sexual content. And my favorite. Yeah. The, my favorite part of this is the overdub. You mentioned it. Yeah, it's you know they're, they're, it's purposely they're, bad. It's purposely bad. And it's wonderful. Uh, they have a champagne bottle that represents a penis, and they go to this hotel and people just keep like lying on top of each other. <laughs> and then they got a real dolphin <laughs> to now, come see, in. Now see, that's where Derek and I differ. I yeah. think that was a man dressed as a dolphin. Mm, nope. Okay. Yeah. But well, I, okay. This is what I will say to your credit uh, here, Blake. 
that room was full of water. Yes. Yes. So, okay. It yeah. was okay, dry. maybe. And there was also a French maid, and I'm pretty sure it was a guy. I think that was a fella uh, as well. Yeah. So, I mean, if anybody's going to pick out a guy in a French maid outfit. It's going to be that cat right there. <laughs> this guy right here to my left. Yeah. High five that shit. Good douche. Oh, yeah. And this guy knows a dude in a French maid outfit. So um, the next bit is like a James, a Scottish James Bond. And I think they do like a, like maybe like a Michael Caine reference. Yeah. I, was it the, the guy in the car? The guy in the car? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then they're like, why do ghosts wear women's blouses on their heads? Why do men flush before they're done urinating? All oh, these, all these the, why. It's the eight great mysteries of life. I guess. And I, I can think of better It was mysteries. the buildup. To me, it was the buildup. It was like, okay, I know this is getting to an end. This is the buildup. Yeah. And it, it, it didn't build me up and nothing. It built me up in knowing the fact that it was almost over. And he says, uh, so he winds up saying, why do burglars steal before, uh, before, or what did they steal before uh, video cameras? Why does popcorn smell of hamsters? Why do comedians finish on a song? Why do birds sing suddenly appear every time you are near? I thought, we, I thought we'd never get here. They like to be. They, uh, Craig dances pregnant. during the, um, the credits as well. He dances. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. And he, he reminds bad. me of the guy, the, like, the lead singer of Talking Heads with that suit on. He had <laughs> big shoulder pads. Mm. It was a big, oversized, and it was all one color. It's a 90 sucker. Shoulder pads. David Byrne, indeed. Um, Derek, why didn't the Craig Ferguson show work? Oh, boy. Uh, it was terrible. That's okay. why. Okay. It just, I, you know, okay. I'm, I'm not going to shit all over to the UK. I know they have their own sense of humor. I was never. You know big... what? If you had enough diarrhea, you could because it's not that big. <laughs> You're on yeah. fire tonight. High five that <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, wait. How about do the, high five that shit? <laughs> oh, Lord, that's moist. Don't be disgusting. Blake, what would you do to improve the Craig Ferguson show? I, I would not focus so much on uh, Craig Ferguson setting him up the bits for so long. Exactly. It seemed like it was way too long that he was setting up the bits. And, uh, that, that, that would two things. That's uh, the first one. Yeah. And, and second of all, speak English so we can understand what yeah, you're speak saying. Why don't you English? speak American man? Shit. <laughs> do you Fucking, do? You're standing on the stage here. You're do all you? like, hey, man, that's, come that's on, what man. I heard. Let's do, let's do our, uh, Craig Ferguson rendition in American language. Ready? Like, um, uh, yeah. You want to go first? Man, squirrels are dumb. Oh, you ever heard of a squirrel? You see oh. little sons of bitches? Oh, they fluff their tails and shit. Oh, oh they're, they're running so, around. They're so stupid. They they try to get uh, bird seed Fuck from a grabbing bird. nuts and stuff. Oh, running over, grabbing peanuts, hiding shit. under your garage. In a whale. Foundation. You ever heard a whale fart? Yeah, yeah. that's oh, how they're talking. Rid- they're it, talking with their butt whale farts. It, oh, you know. And what is this about? Them never showing sex on sex stuff. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. I mean, if you're going to see sex, I want to see my sister and my brother doing it. I want to see some pee and vagina. None of this Peanut soft butter and vagina? Man, man, if I want to see some soft core crap, I'm going to watch Scrambled Skinamax on oh, a Saturday. Hell yeah. Red Shoe Diary. Hey, you know one of the eight? No, I can do better than that. I want Triple X. I want it nasty. Let's do Me and you, we're going to do the eight... Great mysteries of the world. I'm going to start first. Number eight. Why is it possible for fucking squirrels to fly? Seven. What's up with whale butt farts talking? Uh, number six. Uh, why do champagne bottles look like penises? Five. How about a hairy motherfucking chest like that? God damn. It is very hairy. Very hairy, like nope. an ape man. I don't like that because that's against Jesus. A, a number four, right? I think I'm at number four. Uh, what is it with this online dating at a restaurant? Three? Poor percent of damn suit. What the hell is that? They're supposed to be in the water. I seen it. You took my... Uh, number two, why do they give a guy with such horrible glasses and eyesight a job uh, 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 driving a coach? And number one... Silly putty. The fuck is that? <laughs> uh, no, number one is... Oh, no, I'm just throwing that in there for flavor. Because uh, I want to know. That's a mystery it, to is me. Is that one and a half? One and a half, sure. All right, number one... Tell uh, me. Why do podcasters really think they're great and they should sing songs? Alcohol. That ain't no mystery. God damn it, you're right. 
Oh, sorry. I mean, gosh darn it. You hey, need to watch your mouth and you need to pray. You shut your mouth right now. God Never. damn it. I got pretty teeth and I will show them off. I paid, I've got, I paid for them. I've got this trailer all sealed up and insulated. We're making it through the winter, Bonnie. All We're right. making it through the winter. All right, that's enough right. of that shit. All right, shut up. <laughs> shut the hell up. That was awful. You allowed this. You supported it. Technically, you did. That was awful. Yeah. <laughs> Awfully funny, guys. Well, this, was, this was a hell of your own creation. That's true. We, we Audience do, members we do in the create. studio didn't think it was funny. They just kind of sat there on their phones. You know what? Was I was amused. Were you amused? Oh, I was amused. But, but he's got a fucking great haircut. God damn. I, he's looking on point. He always looks on point. Looking great. You guys good? We're ready for you. <laughs> whenever whenever you're ready, Are you guys Jason? done commenting on the guy who isn't on mic who will be here next week? <laughs> Are you done peeing? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> good Lord. I'd apologize if I can't. <sighs> I apologize. Wait, I apologize. Apologize. If there were only rails to begin with. Uh, <laughs> the final descent is where we talk about other people having seen this program and their comments and ratings as such. Uh, Internet Movie Database is one we always mine from. Blake, you've, you're a damn dirty cheater, right? What uh, what did people rate this? I am raising my hand right now mm-hmm. because I know there's a man here that I have a lot of respect for. He's not. He's going to be here next week. Oh my God. But I am I am I am swearing all my life. Today was such a horrible day. I did uh, not have time. Hurry up. I, I did not have time to look on IMTB. I'm giving it a six point five. Oh man. Um right. Are you in a hurry? Where are you going? Where are you going? He's got doings transpiring, okay? Derek, what do you think people from around? Rated uh, Craig Ferguson show on IMDb oh, out, of, out of ten. The, 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 out of ten, they probably rated it. Probably averages out to eight point nine because they probably thought it was broke. It's a seven point nine. That's from thirty ratings. Are you kidding me? I, you, you know that I never lie about the Internet Movie Database <laughs> uh, viewer reviews. Um, thank you for uploading this. Look how young Craigie was. Uh, I'd love to see more episodes of this. Oh, we're calling him Craigie now? Oh, Craigie. That's what they do over there. Oh, yes. It's we p- add Ys to names. Absolutely adorable, a bunch of emojis. Uh, the accent was thick in the old days. He's become quite Americanized, I'd say. Um, and this is a uh, final one. says, wrong forum, guys. As a Scott myself, I find it kind of annoying that he sold out and moved to the U.S., but to each their own, I guess. When I was a student in Scotland in the, in the late 80s slash early 90s, he was a bit of a cult figure. Uh, along with his comedian sister Lynn, mainly thanks to his Bing Hitler character, which is something I kept coming across but refused to investigate. Yeah, I don't don't look into that shit. Uh, his stand-up was always much funnier than his TV shows, though. The Craig Ferguson show was a pretty watered-down version of his act, and it showed. I would, li- you know what? I I think I'm gonna go YouTube that tonight, like Craig Ferguson stand-up because. Yeah. I, it's got to be better, right? It's got to be. Honestly, I think within the past year, maybe even just the past few months, he's had a stand-up special on on uh, Netflix. No. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I, you're I, right. He comedy changes. You know, it's been thirty years since whatever this mess was. I'm sure it's probably pretty decent. You get better with time. That's what she said. Don't high five him. Don't high five him for that. It's unwarranted. I'm just gonna drink my beer. I know. My shandy. Oh, shandy. Oh, shandy. Kelly Preston, R.I.P. Shandy. Shandy. Oh, it is. It's it's Craig Ferguson tickle fight. Yeah. See, tickle would, fight. Two things I never lie about. Craig Ferguson specials and IMDb ratings. Go ahead. Cheeky comic Craig Ferguson keeps it casual as he discusses 70s porn. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Japanese toilets. Thank mm-hmm. you. You're welcome. And his my, mildly crime-filled days as a talk show host. Which one of those words was hard for you? <laughs> mildly. Mild. Mildly was? How okay. in the hell do you pick out salsa? <laughs> I just say, New York City. Get a rope. Get a rope. Uh, before we give the final ratings, our, our personal ratings of the program, mm. what, what are your guys' opinion and like history with Craig Ferguson? I've seen him on uh, the the late late show. Yeah, I I, I didn't understand him then. <laughs> he could, and, but that's he could only, understand that then. But that's the only <laughs> that's the only Craig Ferguson I've known is okay. the, the the salty haired, uh, annoying guy that's interviewing people really late at night. Derek, I've never really cared for him. No, I mean I can see why he didn't he, ask you if you cared for him. He's like, when did you like notice? Him? Uh, I've uh, first time I ever noticed him was a Drew Carey show. Mm-hmm. It just happened to be on. I was never a big Drew Carey show fan okay. to begin with. 
But it was on. I was like, I'll give it a shot. It was definitely and on. It was definitely on. The it, television was on. Kind that of like program was on the television. It was kind of like Donkey Kong in a way. No, was, no, it, no, 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 no. Very different from the on. No, that is in, I, I, involving no, Donkey Kong. I think other than you, people thought it was on like Donkey it, Kong. It was one, time. one of those first seasons. Cleveland rocks. Cleveland rocks. Uh, not bad. Not for me. Not not bad singing. I was going to do my Cleveland imitation, but he your kinda... Cleveland imitation. Yeah. You're going to imitate the entire city. <laughs> Wait, the whole city Whoa. or the Black Guy on Family Guy? Just step on my fucking pit. Yeah, fuck. You. you know what the balloon means? Oh. Party over here. Hey, Peter. That's Hi, a, that's Peter. Best song, yeah. You know that's what? better. That's better than mine. There's fish everywhere. And there went my phone. Um, yeah, I don't care man. about that. Um, I, I will say that I love the Drew Carey show. Actually, the first um, did. five or six seasons of it, I did like it quite a bit, and he was a, he was a good part of it. I liked uh, he was the Greg Ferguson. he was the like the the uh, like the head manager at the he was one of the big uh, big wigs the at boss uh, man. what was the name of the story? I can't remember. Uh, you, Dufflin, try, you tried getting me into it. I think it, it was Duffler but, Mifflin. Duffler Mifflin. That is the no, officer. That's not it at no? all. That is not uh, it at all. I don't know. Oh, the the Cleveland Gazette. Yeah, he was the head, was, one of the head was, guys at the Cleveland Gazette. Yeah. It was a department store, wasn't it? It was a department store. Oh. Winford. Win- Gimbals. Win- uh, it was Gimbals. It. It, fine. Competing yeah. against Macy's. I never was a big fan of him on The Late Late Show, mm. mainly because he talked to a, a fucking skeleton. Yeah, the skeleton robot. That was stupid. That Grant from uh, Mythbusters actually created that. Oh, did he? Who just died. The, R. R. the Asian R.I.P. fella. Yeah, he yeah, built that. That's a bummer. He built that. But um, I was never a fan of the show per se, but I tell you what I did like about the program is that he had seemingly unscripted conversations, real off-the-cuff conversations with people. Uh, versus very, you know, like, we're going to do the pre-interview, we're going to talk about ABC. His, his interviews seemed, and what I think... What crap are you shilling right now? I, I think it really was a genuine conversation, and, and for that, people did really like him, and then he had about a 10, 11-year run, which is fantastic. Yeah, for sure. For that time slot. Now, he doesn't do it anymore? No. I thought um, he still does. No, when... Um, Arsenio Hall took over. Arsenio Hall oh, okay. did take it over. Ooh, 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 when, when Letterman uh, said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to retire, they yeah. didn't offer it to Craig, who was... Like late fifties, maybe sixty at the time. Like you're not going to offer that to a guy who's fifty five, six years old. You're going to get a younger guy, about forty. To somebody do it, hip. Right? So somebody hip. He didn't get offered. He said, "I'm going to just quit." And it made way for the, um, I think, truly awful James Corden. Like, oh, he's mm. terrible. Like he's like he's, he's known as a giant cunt. Like people hate him. He's oh, oh, not oh, oh, funny. He's it's annoying. okay in the UK. That's like saying brother it's, or sister. It's, oh. Yes, but, over here we say cunt. As though you folks say ketchup or mayonnaise. <laughs> the other day, I was waiting for the bus. Bus driver comes up, won't let me in. He drives off. You know what I say? You fucking cunt. Oh, I wake up every morning and I say, oh, good morning, cunt. And I'm referencing my mother. Oh. You I'll... wake up next to your mother every morning? When I wake up. It's small quarters. And my mom is next to me. I, she's naked and I can't believe it's true. Well, fucking that's... cunt. Derek, I turn to you. How do you rate the Craig Ferguson show? Don't look at him. Oh, do not look at him. Don't you look at him. Don't feel, even talk to him. He's next week. I feel bad every time I'm around. Don't even talk to him. Stop it. How do I rate it? Yeah. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. It is <laughs> That's, a we, Roy. We're not going for edge. It is a Roy fucking Biggins. That's oh, a one? That's a one. Yeah, it's wow. terrible. I fucking hated it. One is wow. the worst score you can get. Seven is the best score you can get. I hated it. I hated it. Enough. Enough of that shit. Sorry about you. I don't want to fucking hear Three Dog Night anymore. Every episode, Three Dog Night. Are you constantly on the Three Dog Night? Every episode, he's singing Three Dog Night. Tie a night. yellow ribbon? Around. Jeremiah was a bullfrog? Come on, man. Every Back episode. Every episode? Every episode, he's singing goddamn Three Dog Night. Son of a bitch. Man, you got to pepper in some sweet... Maybe some diesel. How about some, some cream? Kings. How about some cream? That's well, fine. Duh, yeah, that's a given. Come on. Yeah, cream me. <laughs> on your face. Captain Phillips. On your face. How, how do you rate this show? Hey, Woody, put it on my face. Wow. He's very amused. I'm not yeah, going- he, he asked me before I got here to buy the beers. Why'd I, you do that? I, I said yes. Now, I just want to point something out. No, in, in I light, didn't say In buy- light of how I behaved He's on July 3rd, I didn't, I'm four deep and I I'm did not say lucid. buy the beers. I said, I will pay you for the beers. And I did. Although I will say the alcohol I content in these is far lower than where what you, I was you that night. Before I give my rating, oh my God. I'm oh. going to read from a, a gentleman. No. A gentleman who's... who's. I mean, we're just sitting here with bated breath. I was, I was more of a VHS breath kind of guy. <laughs> Sticky breath. <laughs> Hurry up. That's that like, great. Is bated breath that like... That's great. Is bated breath like pussy breath? 
Ooh. That's is that is that really what you think it is? <laughs> is that is that your honest thought? You you gotta stop at the belly button. Take a whiff. That's anyway. Not That's even absurd. not even drunk yet, really. I know. Chris Tuckley. This yeah. is amazing. Chris Tuckley. Each episode uh, this season, he's going to give his synopsis. His two cents. Before you chime in with a that, couple can I bits ask you, of quid. How did you? How do you have these ratings? Because I don't see that. I don't know what they are. Did he? Does he message you specifically? He personally messages me. Awesome. <sighs> Duh. He likes me better than you. Oh, That's I know. Fucking friendship. I didn't see Craig Ferguson's show for the first time around, and I'm not sure I would have welcomed a whole series of it. The animal jokes were a real slog, which I guess is bad. It's very bad. And nowhere near as clever as they needed to be. Oh, God. This, this is going to be rough. Derek, I'm hoping that there is, the word <laughs> mildly isn't in there. Oh, God. I'd never heard of Chris Ferg- Greg- Helm- <laughs> Greg Greg Ferguson Greg prior to tech- tracking down this pilot for you guys. And for me, he was a bit charmless in the slick and shouty stand-up parts. We you read the rest? <laughs> oh you want me to read that? You want me to read that? Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Give me a minute. I'm a little more lucid. Shouty. I think the last thing he said was shouty, shouty. parts. Uh, da, 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 da. In the slick and shouty stand-up parts. The best bits of this belong to Charlie Higson as Noel Claw. That's the, the fellow we heard comedian. from. Yeah. Which that I will admit that was pretty that it was, was pretty funny. funny. That was a little absurdist. I did enjoy that. Um, and the ever reliable Paul Whitehouse doing one of his early funny foreigner routines, which turns some unpromising Dutch porn and drugs jokes into something really memorable. Come to think of it, there were a lot of porn jokes in this, and 1990 is long before porn became as mainstream as it is today. From my recollection, parenthetically, and there may be some nostalgia at play here, end of parentheses, there was some much better TV comedy around on British screens in 1990, including absolutely another Parenthetically, mostly, end of parentheses. Do you think that was absolutely fabulous? Is what he was referencing? I think, I think so. Okay. Uh, Scottish comedy show, which covered some of the same ground, but with genuine eccentricity. Who is Craig Ferguson? After watching this, I'm still not sure. I have an answer. That eccentricity would have killed you. Yeah, I'm so I, glad. I, I, I would have yeah, died yeah, on that. You would have. No. <laughs> uh, my CP even score? people from next week. No, I yeah, wouldn't out of. Yeah. My CP score three. Okay. Oh, three. All right. Three. Well, what a well thought out. Uh, Jesus and, Christ! And, uh, Don't use such big words, you what, Viking well motherfucker. Well written. In, to borrow from you, well written, well received. Yeah. And also, Thank he says, you. "I hope I got all of this to you in time." You and Jason are my favorite big pair of glistening Tuckleys, after all. Oh, that's very nice. So that came to you today, I assume. Yeah. Well, uh, because I uh, the last night I fell asleep because that's all I do. Mm-hmm. And I woke up this morning. He's like, "Hey, would you guys need that? My, you know, my stuff." I go, "Oh, today at six p.m. Central Standard Time." And he's like, "Oh shit!" So I think he was going to bed. I don't think that he said shit. I don't think that he, he probably would say said that. shite. Maybe. But like, what's your score? Did you give us a score? You no, didn't. I didn't. I it's, Chris Tuckley is coming before me. I turn to you. How do you rate the Craig Ferguson? Show? I don't like Chris Ferguson. It's Craig. It's Craig. Um. The porno scene mm-hmm. was was the best bit. I agree. That, and, yeah, that was. And I'm giving funny. this a porno bump, and I'm going to give it a, oh. a, a yeah. three. I'm going to yeah. give it a three because because justify it. Justify my love. Thank you. I was thinking it. The song I, was in my head. Mm-hmm. I'm giving. I'm giving every. Episode in the series, a one off the mark. You know, That's right? weird because the first time we did the Tuckley 10, you were doing a British debump, if right. I remember. But I'm doing uh, one because I can't understand what they're saying most of the time. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, well, part of this is my fault. Here's a one. Mm-hmm. And then the porno bit was a two. And um, just because Craig Ferguson, he, he, was, he was very energetic. He... He he was confident. He had a lot of confidence in what he was doing. Well, cocaine will do that to you. And but uh, I'm giving a three. I'm giving a fucking. That's fine. That's fine. That's the best I can do. That's fine. (laughs) I appreciate. That's fine. Um, I I think I'm gonna agree with you, Blake. (sighs) Sorry, I'm just getting ready for the next bit. No, that's fine. Take your time. Do what you gotta do. Um, I I do like Craig Ferguson. I liked him on the Drew Carey show. I liked the Late Late Show when it was him talking to guests. 
I don't think his monologue was that great. I don't like his interaction with a uh, a fake horse or a skeleton. I don't like that. That's not funny. How about with a real pain, uh, real dolphin? Well, I mean, that see, I, I have to disagree. Just think with how you. expensive that was to have a real dolphin talking. That would be very expensive. I got to give it a real dolphin bump here. Um, bump it up. And with that, I, I do give it a three. Okay. Um, the I think you said something earlier, Blake, that rings true, where the setup for the bits was too long. Yes, yes. Uh, you can do a couple quick lines and move on to the next thing. Take some time to write these things out with people. Monologues are tough. Stand-up is tough. Mm. You can't churn that shit out real and it, quick. If you think about this, if this was to get picked up, he's going to have to come up with new material. He's going to have to come up with a lot of material every episode because he's yeah. talking too long. And usually yeah. and usually that kind of stuff is like evergreen because we, we, we talk about, oh man, how would you do that every episode? You're going to do six to eight episodes a series yeah. once a year? But then you think about late night talk shows, oddly enough that he was a talk show host of, and those guys are doing monologues daily, but that stuff isn't evergreen. But They're talking it, about things that happened that day. They're very topical, but that's it, not what was happening on this show. And it, also... Those guys aren't writing all the stuff themselves. And, and these guys may have not been writing all the stuff themselves. We don't know. It's but just it one guy. It's Craig Tuckley. It wasn't funny. And his name is Cri- Craig Ferguson. Not Chris. It's not Chris Ferguson and Craig Tuckley, okay? Get it together. I did not think oh, this was great. I'm only getting it together for this because I spent no, a lot of time on this. Fair I give it a three. Fair you give it a three. Uh, you give it a one. Chris gives it a three. I gave it a one. Big steaming one. It's not, it wasn't that good. It, it just I mean, wasn't that good. It just really wasn't that good. Blake and I have seen a lot of garbage in our days. So. I trust that you have. And with that, we close the book on the Craig Ferguson show, and we will never speak of it again. Epo. But join us next time, won't you please, when we watch the pilot episode of Club Zarathustra. Ooh. Here's a little something to wet your whistle. Pilot for the fringe comedy cabaret act and troupe known as Clue Zarathustra. You can find the entire episode of The Thing I Just Said by subscribing to Couch Pilots and SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or your favorite podcast app of choice, and then simply click on one of our classically blue links in our show notes, or go to YouTube. Derek? You know what to do, too. Nice. Uh, Blake, if someone were so inclined to get a hold of us and us to never do uh, fan feedback again, how would they do it? Uh, I would go to couchpilotspodcast.com mm-hmm. and... That's a one-stop shop. You right. can listen to every episode. Um, you can go to our Instagram page, which is lively. I mean, we have like, like a lot of live shots from from each episode, and and we do some, uh, you know, our story. So we do yeah, our whole we do story sh- there. Yeah, and um, so yeah, we definitely check that. Or oh, we have a Facebook page as well, so you can like that. Fossey books. And we have a Patreon page. It's uh, it's patreon.com backslash couchpots. So. That's where you need to go. Uh, also, Spotify has every episode. Apple iTunes does not have every episode. No, they cut off. And if you're going to do this, just dive in and do the whole thing. <laughs> you got to. If you don't start with one, if you don't start with one, Chris Tuckley. Speaking of Chris, Chris, Chris Sluckley, <coughs> Chris Tuckley started. Yeah. He went back and started at one. So. He's known for it. Loneliest number. Um, I have actually been recently checking out another podcast that I like. A lot of their shows had disappeared on uh, Apple Podcasts. Hmm. I found them on SoundCloud. Every episode of this program, I say, is on SoundCloud. We are not on SoundCloud. No. I cannot find it. I, Why do I say that? I don't know how to get on SoundCloud. I have Why no have, idea. I say it two times every episode. Why do you never stop me? If I say it, I've literally said that we're on SoundCloud for hundreds of episodes at this no, point. No, you have We're not. Have you really? I think that I have. No, I you don't. You have. You say it a lot. You are on Podcast Addict, but I think it just goes that's back to I, about is that like Right, that's what I use. Like, I use Podcast like Addict. Like Addict, I love Heroin, or Addict, uh, Dorian Gray? Uh, right in the middle. Heroin. Right in the heroin. middle. Okay. The heroin. There's no painting, aging, absorbing. It's more about the location of the painting versus the painting itself. Yeah. And referencing. I mean, it's a big um, part of the story, but nevertheless... I uh, So I have to stop saying SoundCloud because we're not there. Unless you yeah. can help us out there and get us in SoundCloud. I have no idea. I'm not going to try. Derek, thank you so much for being on the show. Hey, thanks for having me. I appreciate yeah. it. Anything you want to plug? This whole... <laughs> Pretty funny. Ernest. You like your butthole plug, too? Yeah. Oh, man. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that, baby. Uh, Off air, of course. The uh, Ernest P. World Preservation Society that I uh, do with Dustin, uh, with Dustin and Jason. Uh, about the 15th of every month. Not a bad little show. It's interesting seeing time. the things that did not get made. Yeah. Some are uh, stinkers. 
Others okay. are hilarious. I, I really do think we have like 120, 150. Yeah. About 125, 150 different scripts, That's ideas. That's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of I mean, some content. are several pages long. Some, some, some are literally a pay, paragraph. Yeah. A couple sentences. Yeah. Ernest in a video store. It's interesting, though. It's Bunch an interesting Jonathan program. Jonathan Brandi. Brandi, yeah. <laughs> Love that Jonathan Brandis. And, and Don't uh, forget Charles Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Philip, rest assured, um, you've been doing something special for the Tuckley 10. Sure. I, 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 I don't want to give it away. No. What, what I've been doing. I just... You know, but you've been doing it. I don't want people to find out what it is. You've been doing the shit out of it. I don't understand. Is is that the segue you wanted then? No, or? go ahead. Go no. ahead and do the regular segue. Um, do you have a message of positive? That's not it. it? No, no. What's this? What's the this, regular? This segue? is a special UK. It's it. A lot of people in the UK don't listen to us except Chris Tuckley, and I want I want to make I want to make this something that they can wrap their arms around, like they know about. And so every episode, I want to give. Some facts about the UK. I did like what happened in that year, but your focus is going to be on, on citizens of the UK. Yes, very right? much so. Mm. And today we're going to talk about Harold Franklin Shipman. Oh. He was born on January 14th, 1946, and he died on January 13th, the day before his birthday, 2004. It's coming back to that. Let me get to it. He was known to his acquaintances as Fred Shipman. An English general practitioner who is believed to be the most prolific serial killer in modern history. Oh, my word. What? Just like Hamilton. What? Never seen him. Anyway, on January 31st, 2000, a jury found Shipman guilty of murdering of 15 patients under his care. He was a doctor. General practitioner. GP, are you with me? With... With his total number of victims, approximately 250. That's a record. Shipman was sentenced to life imprisonment with a recommendation that he never be released. He committed, he committed suicide hanging on January 13th, 2004, which was the day before his birthday, um, before his 58th birthday, and in his cell at Wakefield. Wakefield Prison. Wakefield Prison. I'll go. I'll go to nephew there. Wakefield Prison. The the Shipman Inquiry. Let's talk about that. A two year long investigation of all deaths certified by Mister Shipman, which was uh, chaired by a guy I don't know. Uh, it, it, it doesn't matter. It examined his crimes. Right. Um, the inquiry identified two hundred and fifteen victims, and. Um, Established his total victim count at 250, about 80% of whom were elderly women. Shipman's youngest confirmed victim was 41-year-old man, although significant suspicion arose that he had killed patients as young as, take a guess. Seven. Six. Well, one dollar. One dollar. Four. Oh, man. Are we playing, is it Price is Right rules? No. I got one more paragraph. Damn it, you win. Uh, much of the United Kingdom's legal st- structure concerning health care and medicine was reviewed and modified as a result of Shipman's crime. He is the only British doctor to ever be found guilty of murdering his patients, although others have been acquitted uh, of similar crimes or convicted of lesser charges. Guys, Harold Shipman killed uh, 250 people. Derek, should people... Is the death penalty ever okay? Yeah. Blake? Yes, This pilot sure. may have been rough, but it's always a smooth flight here on Couch Bites. Jason? <laughs> Jason, your thoughts? <laughs> Jason, your thoughts? <laughs> Jason, can you hear us? Jason. I, I see his lips moving. Can you hear me now? But I can't hear him. This guy killed he can 250 hear people. And here's what he did. This is how he got busted out. He got greedy about it. And he started like. Um, I just like that the Brits are even polite when it comes to punishment. We recommend. Well, and that's what I found. It's not also. like throw them away and lock up the kibber. No. In my research, it's, that I spent we about. We recommend that about, maybe he doesn't get out. I spent about five hours a week researching this stuff, and I feel like this could have been done in an hour, but that's they don't. Okay. They don't have the death penalty, but they do. They don't. They don't say you're, uh, you know, in prison for life. They're like, uh, you're imprisoned. And you're not going to get any... We just don't talk about him anymore. Right. No blood sausage, no blood pudding, nothing with blood in it. No bangers and mash End of. You. Hey, you know what? End of show. Deuce, deuce.
This pilot may have been rough. I already said it. Something or another. End of the show. Press the button. End of the show. That's it. We're done.